go full retro American in the 1991 Ford Econoline. line. We throw on some chrome mirrors and call it good. You may have seen these style of mirrors on many a semi truck, and that's where we got our inspiration. This thing's big enough, so we thought it qualified for these nice West Coast style chrome mirrors. These classic motor homes deserve a lot of good chrome parts, like the mirrors and the wheels and the grill. But mainly, the mirrors are super purposeful, super useful. Excellent visibility out of these 6x16 West Coast mirrors. And then the little spot mirrors down here for your blind spots. I can see way better than the stock mirrors. And they look way cool. Here, look, we did a little cleanup on the chrome, a little polish. Something that I love, not many people may have seen this, but this is an official fold-away bumper step. For getting on top of your motor. I almost tripped and fell off, but for cleaning or whatever, it's pretty pretty sweet piece of equipment. Let's walk around the back of the motor home. A little extra chrome polish on the dually wheels here. This is a Fleetwood Jamboree. 28-ish feet long, plenty of room to adventure with the family. So you have your typical gear storage is underneath, but needing a little bit of extra room for tools or maybe dirty things, I did this custom installed toolbox on the back. So painted the bumper black, kept it really straight. There is some bracing brackets under the toolbox. And then again, another little chrome addition for the rear of the motorhome. Keep gear such in, in here, such as a little ATF, washer fluid, gloves, you know, just the typical must-haves on a motorhome adventure. A little bit of a see all of the America, the beautiful map here. That's a motorhome classic right there. If you zoom in here. Three inch single pipe exhaust. It sounds really good. When you take Daniel with you anywhere, you better have cardboard for your tablecloth <laughs> so you can clean up. Anyway, check out the cab. It's super clean. I love these classic retro wood grain styles. You got the doghouse here with the wood cup holders and other things holders. It's equipped with cruise control, four speed automatic transmission with overdrive. Uh, Ford guys will know it's the E4OD. First put in the Connell line vans in 1987, I believe, or 88. I could have misspoke there. There's a little bunk bed shelf sort of a deal. It's actually really nice and it's like a full seven feet wide for us tall guys who can fit up there. Now for the rear end, uh, aftermarket oversized fridge, oversized aftermarket microwave. This is actually a faux tile, like a 3M sticker sort of a deal. It's a little bit tight back here, but very spacious for an older motor home without a slide. Shower, typical RV shower, typical RV bathroom, but it's also redone with laminate vinyl flooring and some quarter round trim. Really nice, really pleasant. We actually went with this bed frame. The, it's about a 12 inch high bed frame for the extra storage space under there. Now let's go for a rip and see how this thing runs. This isn't the best vehicle to daily drive with the gas prices these days. They're pretty high, but it's about eight miles to the gallon. That's not bad for a motorhome. It's really the perfect vehicle for the classic American road trip. Comfortable, you can sleep in it, and you're not spending all your money on hotels. This Econoline is equipped with the classic Ford 460 V8 that has 390 foot pounds of torque. And it does do a really good job of pulling this thing around with only 52,000 miles on the odometer. It's just barely breaking in. On this guy and his broken down Ford. This AR film truck. <laughs> what happened? I'm just checking out an owner. Making sure she's doing good. Check under mine, is it dripping coolant still or is it okay? That's fine. So a couple of downfalls on this rig, I guess I should mention, are uh, 
we were just having our film crew guy check out. It doesn't our have film crew. <laughs> it doesn't have a coolant overflow tank. It just has one of the drip hoses, which I really dislike. You find them on a lot of older vehicles. Anyway, when it gets hot and the coolant expands or comes up or whatever, it just starts dripping, I think. Another thing is, uh, we're, if you look here on the dash, we're running vent right now. It's not hot outside. It's like 75 degrees or so, but it's a little warm in the cab. The AC doesn't blow cold. Now I charged it a few months ago with one of those quick charge cans you get from an auto parts store and it blew cold, worked fine. But these old AC systems are just so hard to repair, so hard to find leaks. And so you can put a can of charge in, last a couple months and that's it. One thing I really like about the idea of a motor home is anybody can have one. Anybody can build the inside how they want it to be. Anybody can, and you can find them anywhere. With today's housing prices and the way the economy is going, it's really not a half bad way to live for a while. Yeah, honestly, um, personally, I've stayed a few months in this motor home, and I know other people that have lived for a year or more out of a motor home. You know, and it depends on your family, I guess, how big of space you need or whatever, but. They're super handy and they're fairly comfortable. Thanks for joining us on our showcase of Lyman's Caravan Camper Motorhome Adventure. Awesome, big, fast, scary, loud rig.